Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. My day is about to get a whole lot better because I am headed to the Goodwill bins to find stuff to resell online. It is a Saturday, so I'm expecting the bins to be a lot busier than they are on the weekdays, but I'm hoping that tomorrow, that since tomorrow is Easter, that there aren't a lot of shoppers at the bins because they're preparing for Easter. I don't have to take either of my daughters, which is exciting. So I gotta go all by my lonesome. Let's go see what we can find together. Here is my first find of the day. I didn't buy it, but I thought it was this really cool orange pumpkin fall sweater. I was excited to find the brand Peter Millar for my first time ever, but I didn't get this men's shirt because there were holes all along the collared neckline. I almost picked up this cute brown bowl, but I ultimately decided against it because the shape was a little misshapen and I have no room in my cupboards. So I dug through this messy bin in hopes of finding some treasures. I did find something, but it happened to be an item that was right on top. So I didn't need to go through digging with my bare hands. But, you know, I could have found something. You never know. This next shoe that I'm showing you guys is from the brand Kuru. And I have sold a pair of Kuru shoes before. I do like to sell them. I didn't pick up this one shoe because it didn't have the other pair. But just letting you guys know to look out for Kuru. I thought this next piece was fun. It obviously stood out to me because it's red and it turns out it's like a four to five T little kids lightning McQueen jumpsuit. I didn't pick it up because it was well worn, but kind of a cool item. This next piece that I found, I felt the material first and then I checked the label and it's J Jill cotton cashmere. So I did pick up this piece. All right, you guys, I just finished at the Goodwill bins and I am tired. I want to go home and hug my husband and my two daughters. I just want some cuddles, you know, the weather's gloomy. I'm feeling like it's cuddle time, but I did find some good things. Unfortunately, I arrived a little bit too late, so I didn't get to look through any new bins. And I was really hoping to do that without my daughters because when I take my daughters to the bins, it's kind of chaos and I don't get to really like dig in the same way, but that's okay. I... I'm okay with what I got, happy with it, and ready to go home. And I'll give you guys a haul, of course, later. So change of plans, you guys, but I'm actually gonna make this video a two-parter where I go to the Goodwill bins twice and show you guys two shopping trips, and then I give you guys an extra long haul. I will be wearing different outfits and the recordings will be on different days because I just decided this today that my video is going to be extra long. But no more talking, let's go to the Goodwill bins for the second time in this video and find more good stuff to resell. My baby girl fell asleep on the drive to the bins. She's so cute. So I tried to record us walking up to the bins and make a nice little, you know, walking up video. But her car seat is so freaking heavy that my camera view was all shaky because I could not keep my hand still. In one of the first bins on this trip, I found this brand new little girl travel case for like makeup and such. And I almost got it for my daughter, but we don't need extra stuff. Surprisingly, during this trip, there were a lot of people searching for shoes and bags and miscellaneous items, whereas it's usually just a lot of people searching for clothing items, and I have these bins to myself, and I just share it with a few other people. So I was kind of thinking to myself, hey guys, go back to the clothing. This is my area. <laughs> During this trip, which I didn't get to do last trip, I got to look through two new bins rotations. Here I am waiting in line, and while I waited, I looked through this bin next to me, didn't find anything, but kept my mind busy, and that way I didn't have to think about the stress and the anxiety that was ahead. I am a formula feeding mom, which is very convenient when I'm out shopping because I can prop my daughter's bottle up with a blanket and have both of my hands to look through the items. I was trying to get a clip of my daughter smiling, and she did for you guys. Isn't she just precious? All right, it is time for the haul portion of this video. I'm recording it the day after I went, so a lot sooner than I usually record my hauls, but I just recorded a what sold video, and I thought I'd knock out the haul portion of the video because I do want to list these items because I'm all out of things to list, and I need to get 
more items in my inventory and to keep myself active on my reselling platforms. I got two full bags, well, one kind of full trash bag, but let's start off with the trash bag. Both these bags are kind of falling apart because I overstuffed them and the stuff inside is so heavy. But, oh yeah, so I only got one pair of shoes this Goodwill bins trip, which I usually get a lot more shoes, but because it was near the end of the day and I didn't get any new rotations, I <sighs> didn't find very many shoes, but I did find this pair of men's L.L. Bean boots, and I think they are in pretty good condition. I did look them over pretty thoroughly. But these are really handsome men's boots. They're in a size, let's see what size they are. They are in a size 10 and a half. Oh, cool. They were made in El Salvador, but yeah, they're just really nice. And they have two tones of brown, which is really nice and contrasting and in great condition. So I'm really happy that I found these at the Goodwill bins. They were kind of just on the very back of the bin. And I had already looked through so many different pairs of shoes. And I was just hoping to find at least one good pair of shoes to resell. And I found those. And I think they were like four-ish dollars because they were a little bit heavier of a shoe. So this is a little bit more of a piece that I don't pick up, but I looked at it and did some research on eBay. The bag just looked so unique. It's called Click Elite, and there is some, there are some spots on it, but I think I can get those off, and the inside looks pretty clean. I saw these selling on eBay for around 40 to $50. And so that's pretty exciting. If I can get the stains out, I'm hoping to get that much. If I can't get all the spots out, I'll list it for lower. The sell-through rate, I think, was just a little bit more than 50%. It's just this nice gray color, very quality bag. This next piece, oh, I actually got this one for myself. It's a nice white basic undershirt. So I'm really happy to have found this and it has a cute little mock neck. I love mock necks. So great little piece to find for me. I love always finding surprise pieces for me that I wasn't planning on finding. So these, these are chaps. These are a pair of leather chaps. They do have some gunk spots and there are signs of wear here and there, but overall they're in pretty good condition. This was heavier, so I'm guessing this cost like four to six dollars. Uh, the brand is Unic Premium and they are a size extra small. They're so cool. There is a little bit of wear on the strings. These are selling brand new for $150. Really happy to have found this, and I think it's just such a cool, unique find. I saw the leather poking out of one of the bins, and I'm like, ooh, is that a leather jacket? I got really excited because I have found a nice woman's leather jacket before, but no, they were these chaps, and I thought these were so cool and such a fun, unique bins find. Lastly, I think this is, oh, I totally liked you guys. I got two pairs of shoes. I totally forgot about these. So these are soft with two Fs. These are these black kind of textured, low mid heel pointed shoes. They're in excellent condition. They're like new. So I'm going to put like new in my description, but they're just these really perfect kind of work office church heels. And they were just really, really nice. I am so happy to have found these and they were selling on Poshmark for a pretty good amount, like 30 to $40, I think. But yeah, these are a 10 medium. Look at these. They're really just classy, elegant, you could style them so many different ways. And I'm glad to have picked those up for around $2.50. So this next piece I found is from the brand Ariat. It is a size woman's medium. I think it's a woman's just based on the style. Yeah, that large kind of collared lapel. Maybe that's what it's called. It's just this snap button up coat kind of jacket. And I know we're going into summer. I didn't want to leave this behind. I think it's just polyester so it's not like wool or anything i also wanted to take a quick moment you guys to let you guys know that i am trying to make my cost of goods less so the next couple of weeks instead of going to regular thrift stores i'm going to stick to going to the goodwill bins this is a size extra 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 large 
from the brand Old Navy. So nothing special, but I picked this item up because I'm pretty sure it's a men's piece. It's just kind of like this blue fleece neutral jacket. Definitely needs to be lint rolled. But because of the size and everything, if I can sell this for $20 to $30, that is great. And it's just such a large size that it was very appealing to me and I picked it up. This next piece is from the brand LuLaRoe. And now I have picked up LuLaRoe from the bins before, brand new, and I sold that. This one is a 3XL and it is a midi to maxi length and the print's kind of dark, romantic, kind of whimsy goth. I'd say more whimsy goth style. It is just really nice and because it's a size 3X, I'm thinking I can sell this well. I couldn't find how much LuLaRoe skirts we're selling for brand new. I think that the company, that company is kind of going under. I know that 3X is a highly desired size in the reselling market. So I just picked that up, see how it does. I like experimenting and stuff. And I love to experiment, especially when my cost of goods is low. This is so cool. The brand is Top Stitch by Morning Sun. And it's just this vintage, really, really cool. It kind of has these copper metallic leaves and then these embroidered leaves with two birds. It is so cute and it's a size large and I'm willing to sit on this for when it gets colder again because people like birds. People like those novelty prints like cats and birds and dogs, you know. This next piece, I actually pulled up from the bins just because I felt it and it felt really smooth. Like a lot of the stuff you feel in the bins is just kind of, you know, gross. You got the acrylic and you got the really worn clothing or the cheap stuff made from like sheen and stuff. But this, I felt it and I knew this is from per Pure Jill, which is a line from J Jill. It's a size large and it's really cool because it has a hood, which I feel like is very desirable. And it's just this nice blue color. And I, I recently sold a J Jill dress actually. And my other J Jill pieces have been sitting, but those were smaller sizes. I think I'm only going to pick up J Jill from now on extra large and up. But this was a large. It's 95% cotton and 5% cashmere. And then the bottom band is 4% cashmere, 12% nylon, and then 84% cotton. Yeah, I just thought that this is so nice for going into spring season, a really nice blue spring color. And I think this is awesome. I think it's really, really great. Okay, so this is the last item. And this is from the brand Woolrich the original outdoor clothing company. I just realized that the size is, oh, it's a 2XL. That's awesome, I didn't know that. It is just this green long sleeve, thick button up men's shirt. I think it's gonna resell well, if not now, later on. And it has this fun little fish print with the hook in front. There is pilling everywhere. But for my birthday, my husband got me a pillar, a D-pillar, so I'm just gonna have to, go through and de-pill it. Let's see, it was, it's 100% cotton too, so a nice breathable material. Okay, now it is time for the second haul. I have two full bags like last time. Let's get right into the bags. This first piece is from The Gap. The reason that this first intrigued me from the bins was the coloring, and it is pretty pilled, so we'll have to take uh, D pillar to it. I looked at the material content and it's 50% merino wool and 50% nylon. So this piece really caught my eye. And even though it is a winter piece, I just think it's really fun, made of good material and just a handsome men's sweater. Okay. So this is a vintage dress and I'm trying to be very, very selective now on from what I get from the bins. So I actually get pieces that will sell. But this is from the brand Linnea Dolman. Linnea Dolman, excuse me. It is limited collection and it's a size 12. And the reason I decided to get this dress was it is like a maxi length dress. And look at this color pattern. It is kind of reminds me of a peacock, kind of like a psychedelic dream vibe. 
And I just love it. I think it is so cute and so perfect for summer. It's definitely a style-based piece. I just thought it was so, so cute. And it's, it's a, is that called a halter top? Anyway, it's sleeveless. So yeah, I'm just really happy to have found this and it has some stretch to it too. Perfect for the summer or the beach or vacation. My first time ever finding this brand, the brand is Icebreaker. Cool, light, it's a size extra small. So that's the downside. They're sweatpants, kind of jogger pants. They're very basic gray, but in really good condition. And I'm really happy to have found these because I love finding brands that I've never found before. This next pair is an Amber Abercrombie and Fitch pair of women's shorts, size 30 wide or a size 10. They're pretty short shorts, probably shorter than I'm comfortable with but some people really like those booty shorts. And so these are pretty cute. And I'll probably price these for $20, but got them for like a dollar. So that's a great profit for me. And I know that Abercrombie and Fitch is a very trendy brand. So I try to never pass on it if I can get it for cheap enough. I actually got another Old Navy piece in this trip as well as I did in the last trip. This is a size 4X. So that's why I picked it up. It's a size 4X and it's this cream colored cottage core dress. It is just so pretty, like the perfect summer dress. It has pockets, it has ruffles, it has everything that is needed for the perfect girly dress. And I'm really excited to have found this and I'll probably list it for 25 ish dollars. So I found two anthropology pieces this trip. Now I felt this first before I saw it and I felt, Ooh, this is pretty nice. So I looked at the material makeup. It's a size extra small and it's just this nice long sleeve cream color. It is 100% merino wool. Yeah, so it's 100% merino wool. Happy I found that. This is just a basic men's Adidas zip up. They seem to be selling pretty well on eBay. Unfortunately, the size tag is ripped out. So I'm going to have to do some measurements, but it's in great condition. It's such a fun red color. And I, I just think it's really nice. So I couldn't believe that. I actually did a debate for a while, but based on the eBay sales and just its color, I thought, you know what, I'm going to get that. This last piece is for me or to resell. I couldn't leave it behind. And I thought it was so cute. I mean, this is so cute. It's beaded and has gems all over it. And it's from the brand Topshop. It's a size four and usually I'm a size six. So this actually may be too small for me. I couldn't leave that behind because I thought it was gorgeous. I thought I was done with this bag, but I actually saw one more thing that I grabbed for myself. I obviously do a lot of dishes because I'm a mom. <laughs> so uh, it's a scrubber and it's a dishcloth. And I saw this and I thought, no way. It's like a dishcloth, but it scrubs your dishes. And I thought that was the coolest thing. Really excited to try those out. The brand's Scrubsy, double your clean, double your power. So in between my first and second Goodwill bins bag, I'm gonna show you guys this that I picked up. Now this is a vintage red leather, kind of overnight travel bag, but it is stunning. The only imperfection I saw was this white mark in the front. The brand is, I know it's on the zipper. The brand is ST, ST Lauder, E-S-T-E-E -E space L-A-U-D-E-R. I just thought this was so nice and in such good condition and just so classy. It reminds me of celebrity, maturity, really, really nice. All right, getting into the second bag, I did find two pairs of shoes on this trip. Now this was a new brand I have never heard of before. From the brand Beautiful, it's made in Israel. And I originally picked it up from the bins because I thought this was so cute, right? That Mary Jane style, it's a low heel and they're in excellent condition. When I looked at the brand, before I decided to get them, 
these are really expensive and brand new. We're talking like 300 plus. And I saw them going for anywhere to from 50 to like over $100 on Poshmark. And so I'm so excited about this find. They're so classy, so cute, so unique. And I think I can get a high price for these shoes. This next piece from the brand Patagonia, which everyone knows of, at least most people do. I didn't know of it before I became a reseller. It is a little dirty, but not stain dirty, just like pieces of crumbs and stuff. And it does need a little bit of depilling. It's a men's size extra large, which is even better, a larger size, just this nice blue color. And I was like, score, I found a Patagonia jacket. And for only like two-ish dollars, even better. This is the second anthropology piece that I found. Apparently it's lined. I was, I thought there were two pieces stuck together, but no, it's lined with this navy blue color from the anthropology brand. I can't, let me see if I can read this. Akemi plus kin. The tag looks kind of like that. And I looked at how much these were selling for on Poshmark. The prices did seem to be high. There is pilling on this, but it's just such a fun print. It's kind of midi length or knee length and it is a size let's see what size it is it's a size extra small so this is from the band banana republic and i've actually been on a banana republic strike because it just doesn't sell for me i decided to get this one because it is a size large and it's a knit sweater which is very appealing it could be dressed up or down so i decided to pick it up give banana republic one more chance Oh, this is the last piece. This is the second pair of shoes that I found. Now I've been finding a lot of boots because we're going to the summer season. So all the Goodwills are cleaning out their boots. This is a size nine medium women's Timberland boot. There's a little bit of dirt, so it does need just some wiping off. These are really nice. I'll have to wait on these probably because like I said, it's we're going into summer. Having said that, I'm actually going to make a video soon where I go thrifting to a bunch of different thrift stores and only look in the swimsuit section. I'm only going to limit myself to swimsuits. So that'll be a fun video. Watch out for that. That is everything, you guys. So this is officially, officially the end. My last haul video, I was like, bye guys. And I'm going to cut that part out. And this will be my ending. Thank you guys for watching. I really enjoyed this haul. Say something in the comments. I love replying to you guys and seeing your guys' comments. Have a great day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.